Getting into game development can be overwhelming. There are so many roles to choose from. Plus, you have to absorb a lot of information and develop problem solving skills. It can feel like you are trying to learn everything at once and figuring out where to start is often the hardest part. Game development has so many different aspects and each one plays a huge role in bringing a game to life. For example, level design. Level design is all about shaping the player's journey, deciding where they go, what challenges they face, and how the game flows. Then there's environmental design, which sets the mood and atmosphere of the world, whether that's a dark, creepy cave, or colorful fantasy forest. Of course, none of this would look real without modelers, who create all the characters, props, weapons, and objects that fill the world. And finally, you have the coders, the people who make everything actually work. They write the scripts that bring movement, interactions, enemies, and mechanics to life. But when you combine these roles together, you get the foundation of a game development. The exciting part is, you don't have to learn everything at once. You can start with whichever aspect interests you the most and build from there. Level design is one of the most important and often underrated roles in game development. It's not just about building maps or placing walls. Level designers shape the entire player's experience. If you ever loved exploring a dungeon in Zelda, sneaking through a base in Metal Gear, or fighting across a Fortnite map, that's the work of a level designer. So what exactly does a level designer do? They design the flow of the game world, where the player starts, where they go, what obstacles they face, and how the game keeps them engaged. They balance pacing, difficulty and exploration all while making sure the world feels alive and intuitive think of them as architects they create spaces that tell a story even without a dialogue a hallway can feel safe or terrifying a tower in the distance can silently guide a player to their next goal that's level design have you ever walked through a game world and just stopped to admire the scenery? The forest in Skyrim, the cities in Assassin's Creed, or the alien landscape in Halo? Those moments are crafted by environment designers. Their job is to create the world that players live in. What do environment designers do? Environment designers focus on building immersive, believable spaces that support gameplay and storytelling. It's not just about making things look pretty, it's about creating environments that feel alive, tell a story, and guide the player naturally. For example, a crumbling ruin can hint at an ancient civilization. A neon lit street can make you feel the energy of a cyberpunk city. Every rock, tree, and building is placed with purpose. Every sword, every character, every vehicle, and every building you see in a game starts with one person, the 3D modeler. They're the artists who turn ideas into digital objects that players can see, interact with, and sometimes even destroy. What 3D modelers do? A 3D 3D modeler creates the actual assets and bring a game world to life. Characters, weapons, props, environments, if it exists in the game, chances are a modeler built it. Modelers work closely with concept artists and game designers. They take a sketch or an idea and translate it into a fully realized 3D object, ready to be animated, textured, and used inside the game engine. Without modelers, the game would just be an empty gray box. Every jump, every enemy attack, every menu you click in a game, it all runs on code. Coders or programmers are the people who make games actually work. Without them, a game is just art and ideas sitting still. So what does the coder actually do? They write the instructions that tell the game how to behave. That can mean programming, character movement, combat systems, AI behavior, physics, saving and loading data, or even the menus and UI. Coders turn design ideas into real playable features. And that's a big picture of game development. From coding and modeling to level design and environments, every role plays a part in bringing a game to life. If you're just starting out, don't feel like you have to master everything at once. Pick one area that excites you and start small. Every project you make, no matter how simple, will teach you something new. I'll be making more videos diving deeper into each role, so if this helped you, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them and let me know in the comments which role do you want to try first and until then see you in the next one